Okay, first off, this picture is weird, but I like it. Don't know why. Looks really weird, like Gother has this massive hole in his its chest. I don't think it actually I don't think Gother actually has a gender, does it? <laughs> or does he? I'm, I'm gonna identify Gother as a he, since he acts like one half the time. But yeah. Basically this is part three to whatever Deku had Gother's powers. Now, Gother is, or Gother, we last left off with Deku and everyone doing the quirk assessment test, I believe. So now it's hero versus villains. I should mention, I would have, this would have probably came out a lot earlier than what it did, but, well, I fell asleep. And when I fell asleep, I was woken up by my brother and his friend, and they were annoying me a lot. Had a slight headache, waited till it's gone away. It's been like an hour or two, it's probably three since I woke up. But yeah. Sorry if I like sound tired or somewhat angry in this. Still annoyed. But yeah. Basically, we last left off with everyone doing the quirk assessment test. Now we go to everyone for the hero versus villains uh, battle training. Now, everyone is just in class, and this is when All Might appears, going through, like in his hero suit, one of them, there's a lot, apparently, but yeah, and he basically tells all of them that they're going to be doing hero training, or combat training, so they do the whole thing with like the little team and the balls and everything. It's the same teams, everyone going up against the same people. Now, we have uh, Deku and Orocco versus Bakugo and Ida. Now, they have Deku here, who, although he doesn't look strong, is very strong and is already shown as probably one of the strongest in the class, if not the strongest. His quirk is really weird, what they think about, but then they see, like, him able to do all these different things. Like, his body is stronger than that of the average person. It's, uh, more, uh, it's more durable than the average person. And his quirk doll is quite strong, they think. So, at this point, Deku is, yeah. Say Deku is going to go, and him and Oraka are just going along. And when Bakugo attacks them, Deku tells Oraka to go. And when Bakugo and Deku fight, Bakugo is running at Deku, and Deku just rapid fires Bakugo with his uh, invasion. Yeah, th a lot of this fighting is going to be easy for Deku and Oraka. As Deku hits. Uh, Bakugo. It basically he's he's in there quickly, uh, just going through memories. He's making Bakugo relive one of his memories. And Zeku just goes over there and ties Bakugo up. And when Bakugo wakes up, he's yelling at Deku, saying he wanted to fight. Why are you such a coward? You freak, he says. Deku says, "Well, this is combat training." Besides, the goal is not to fight each other, the goal is to get the bomb. And besides, Bago, you call me a freak like I actually care what you think about me. Saying you're just angry because I'm stronger than you. And you can't handle that, Bakugo. Can't handle it because you've been uh, told your entire life that you're the best by everyone around you. And because of that, you are tying your little flame with a small ego. And everyone just feeding you more and more every single day your entire life made the fire grow bigger and bigger. And I'm the rain that's going to put the ego, or aka the fire, down, he says. And Bak goes angry at Deku. He's letting off explosions. He's about to attack uh, Deku, but then All Might tells Baku if he doesn't stop, then the villain team will be disqualified and the hero team wins. And a lot of people are hearing it. He was told he's the best. He was his, his entire life. 
and that he's going to be like the number one hero since he was a kid by everyone. And I'm like, but this guy over here has the stronger quirk, and yet he, I'd say, they say, but yet he is seen as weaker than this guy, even though he took him down with one move. I think someone like Todoroki would say the reason why he was looked down as weaker is because, uh, he'd say, a uh, hothead there, only all he is, is has a flashy quirk that destroys stuff. And he says that this guy over here, he says, Izuku, although his quirk seems a bit weird, it's strong, but it's not uh, flashy. And heroes are always supposed to be flashy. He basically points out people and their costumes, saying a lot of them, made, some people made them for their quirks or to help them in battle, but others made them to look flashy, to get noticed. And people are looking at Deku's costume, which isn't even a costume, it's just regular clothes. Because there's nothing that's really going to help him. It's just regular loose clothes. And, as he's running along, Deku does go and... I forget, where does Gother has his tattoo? I'm going to say Deku does have the tattoo, like he was born with it as a birthmark. Was it on his neck or something? Now, I'm going to say it's on Deku's neck, and he covers it up with, uh, like, this little paper, you know, like, from, you know, Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter, how, like, he cuts, he gets his arm cut off in the Heaven's Arena, then he reattaches it and make it look like it's, like, he gets it reattached, and he makes it look like it wasn't even cut off by putting paper on it, this weird paper, and, yeah, so basically, that's what Deku does. He has this weird little thin paper on it. The reason he does this is because, like, people always stare at Deku because he has that on his neck. Deku doesn't really care what people think, though. But his mom, Inko, wants him to have that on his neck because, well, I think she would be annoyed if people asked him, like, why does he have a tattoo and stuff? And she also wants Deku to live somewhat of a normal life and doesn't want people to keep looking at him like that. Because he has a tattoo, or what looks like a tattoo. So, basically, Deku finds Oraka, and he tells her that he's going to fight Ida. But before he goes into the thing, All Might's going to make it a bit harder. He tells Deku not to use his invasion. And Deku basically says in his, like, calm, like, what do you mean, use his invasion? Like, what do you mean I can't use it? Part of my quirk, All Might says yes, but I'm going to see what you can do without using your invasion. And Deku's a bit angry, and everyone else is like, what he can do without his invasion power? And they want to see like how he fights, and he's going to be fighting someone like Ida, who can deliver very powerful kicks. So, Deku is basically fighting Ida, and like he was warned because All Might said that, and Deku just came in there. So Ida was on guard, and Ida just is kicking Deku. Deku's in full cowling, like 30%. And he's just kicking, like, Ida's kicking, Deku's, like, blocking, and he's punching. And Deku's, like, enhanced, like, super strength, basically, at this point. Like, his superhuman levels of strength. Punching Ida, even with one for all. Like, it's a direct hit, too. Basically, I'd say it break Ida's armor, and people are like, what the? He just broke his armor with one hit. And I think Deku would basically put his hand somewhat like a, like it's chopping down. Ida would quickly get out of the way. And Deku cuts down at a pillar. And I think he'd actually cut through and be like, Did he just cut through a pillar? A pillar with his hand, one slice. How? And I think this would be Deku's like, some like shoot style ish but basically you, instead of like punching he does chops with his hand basically sending blades of wind like he's controlling one for all like sending small blades of wind and he can't really control them other than that he can just send them at people and he already has superhuman strength where he can cut like someone's head off even if they're wearing armor so think of it like that. He's basically over here sending small blasts of wind at Ida as Ida's dodging and coming for a kick at Deku. I think he kicked Deku 
right in the neck. One reason, Deku's not playing around. He's actually trying to fight Ida. And Ida's like, if I can kick him in the neck, hopefully it doesn't kill him and just knock him out. And he doesn't use that much power, he just uses enough. I feel like those like the Vegas nerve or whatever. That if you hit and like just with like three ounces or whatever of pressure, you knock out you get past you pass that or something. I'm not sure. But yeah. Basically, he tries to hit Deku hard enough to where he he's gonna pass or like hit him hit him in the head. But I'm just saying he kicks him right where the like the paper is. And it basically that force basically makes it come off. And as some people like notice, like I think Momo was like, what's that thing floating in the air? As it's slowly like falling down to the ground. I think All Might, since there are cameras in there, he'd be looking at it. And he and I think Momo, Momo would point out, is there a tattoo on his neck? As Deku has this little tattoo of a goat. And people are like, why does he have a tattoo? And Deku's like, she's feeling his skin, and you can feel like the paper's gone. And like, and he says, "Great. Now everybody knows about my about the girl." He pops his neck. He's like, "You're done now, Ida." As he does, like, what? As Deku runs at him, I think quickly grabbing what parts of armor he has left. Picking Ida up, and then basically flipping back and slamming Ida's into the ground. Basically, he just grabs Ida, flipping himself back and hitting Ida in the ground. So yeah, and at this time, while him, like Deku and Oraka are fighting, well, not Deku and Oraka, Deku and Ida, Oraka goes over there, touches the bomb, you know, all that happens. And when Deku gets in there, I think All Might would even ask, like, why do you have a tattoo? Deku says it's not a tattoo, it's a birthmark. And All Might would be like, what What type of birthmark is like that? So detailed. Deku says, I don't know. Ask the dark doctors. I was born with it. And All Might would basically say, well, we need proof if you're born with it. If not, then you are breaking the law, basically. Because... Pretty sure it is illegal for a minor to have tattoos, yeah. Well, at least where I am. I don't know what it is around the world. So, yeah. And, basically, Deku, basically, he goes, grabs his phone, and has, like, pictures when he was a baby of how he had it. Like, when he was just born, he had this tattoo already on his neck. He can even call the doctors that were there. And almost says, fine, fine, whatever. And I think some of them would actually go up to Deku. Someone, especially like Ida, would even go up to Deku and really ask if it's a birthmark. And Deku would say, yes, it's a birthmark. Even though it resembles that of a tattoo, it is a birthmark. And they'd be asking, like, why do you hide it? Deku says, well, because it looks like a tattoo. And I, t I got tired of everyone asking questions like, why do you have a t why do you have a tattoo? Why do you have a tattoo? Like, aren't you too young to have a tattoo and stuff like that? Deku just got annoyed of it. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys off here. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.